Hey guys, this is Mountain Ripper. I uh, got a new Ridgeline setup that I'm going to show you. It's kind of like an add-on to the way that it was before, but I've got a couple of extra things. I've added some snake skins to it and uh, a couple of other things. So I'm going to show you that. You can see the other Ridgeline video that I did. It's basically the same thing, but I just added some stuff to it uh, for convenience. So take a look and let me know what you think. All right, look in here. If you remember from the other video, on my Ridgeline video, I ran the line through the loop and I didn't have a carabiner here. But now with that with that little S-beaner on there, I can uh, just leave my, my tarp on my Ridgeline all the time and my snake skins as well. So uh, it will work on an ongoing base. I won't have to tear everything down so much and uh, there's the, the line going forward there I've got my tarp inside of the snake skins there's little pockets right here where I've got the, my tent my stakes which I'm going to show you um, my setup for that but there and there and then you can see this just runs down here like that, my tarp is inside, it's just going down the ridge line, just like that. And then on this end, I've got, there's my stakes, some more stakes right there. I've got uh, my um, figure nine there holding, the, holding that together nice and snug. And uh, so that's kind of got everything all bundled up right there on the line. And you can see how tight that is and how well it holds so I'm gonna go ahead and show you um, the features on the, the snakeskin here real quick it's just got some little pockets right here where you can put your stakes and then it's made of uh, the mosquito mesh netting so it's really light the entire both sides of this snakeskin together combined weight is about one ounce so it's extremely light and it'll it'll fold up really small. It'll fit even fit into a little Ziploc bag, which is what it came in actually. Um, I'll put some uh, links in the bottom uh, below the video, and you can see uh, um, where, where I got them, the name and everything like that. And I uh, just wanted to show you this right here. And I'm going to go ahead and set up my tarp and show you how I got my stakes and everything set up. Here's a full length shot of it so you can see what it looks like. And if I come up here like this, all that I've got to do is pull these tabs right here. And these just slide back. Doing it one handed, but these just slide back to the ends. And then my tarp will uh, just come right out. And the way that I ran my tarp, I've got the little hooks on my tarp on the ridge line. So it'll just fall and be even right to the ground so I've got a couple little D rings on the end of each side of the super fly they're just like little bitty little circle rings and I just got the, my ridge line going through that so it'll stay centered when I lower everything if you look right here at this close up that's my ridge line going right across there I just put that going right through that little loop so now it'll stay right there as I uh, pull my tarp down all right, I got the tarp set up. You can see my figure nine here. I've got one of these little clips right here. And this little clip, I've got running to the end of my tarp right there. And I can just, I can just pull, pull it tighter as I need to. I've got one on both sides. And that will keep my the tarp tight going all the way across the ridge line. Just pull it tight right here on this string. I have a different color string for my tie outs, which are uh, a yellow color, as you can see there. And then here, these are green, just so I know. I can just set up quicker and know which one goes where. And uh, here's my snake skin on here that you can see. It just moves around a little bit right here. Not sure exactly what that would be like in a lot of rain, uh, but I think it would probably be okay. You just slide it back and you could just tie it off if you had to right there and um, so I'll just come around here and show you the inside you can see the how big this is 
the, the Superfly. I believe it's 11 feet long. And it's got these other um, tie outs here that you can also adjust. I put a little bit of sealant on them so they won't leak. And uh, so this is what it looks like set up. Just kind of stepping back a little bit here. You can pitch up really tight. You can see how solid that ridge line is. And uh, I'll show you my tent stakes and what kind I've got here. These are the um, they're Easton brand. They're like aluminum. They're really light. And what I did is I just put there's a there's a little hole right here on the top, as you can see right here. I just fed the line through and tied a knot on the side. This way I won't lose my stakes like, you know, pulling up the string and then packing up camp and going to another place and leaving these behind. That won't happen because I've got everything connected together. And you can see how that this is just loose right here. And let me show you what I did for my adjustment on the, on the tarp itself. Right here, you can see I've got some, um, some stretch cord there that I've wrapped around the, the, the loop there. And that, that, that's some, just some, uh, some stretchy cord there, the black cord. And, um, and then I've got it hooked up to another one of those little carabiners. I have fed the line through and I tied a knot so I won't lose that. So everything is connected together. Um, so I won't leave anything behind or fall on the ground. So I got a knot there to keep that from falling off. Then I got a knot on my tent stake to keep it from falling off. So I just unclip it and roll it up and put it in the bag and away I go. So to adjust it, let's just say that I wanted to put my tent stake right here like that. Cinch it down real tight. Oh, incidentally, whenever I put these in, it's kind of like a 45 degree angle. Push them in at like a 45 degree. That way it'll really hold good and solid. And I had on occasion, like if the ground's really, really soft, I just get a rock, like a you know, size of a softball or something like that. And you set it right on top of this and it'll just keep that from coming out. And uh, that's a good way to do it. So, but right here, I just grab this and I pull it tight like that. You just keep pulling it as tight as you need it to be and uh, you just cinch it down and you know if you wanted to put it lower there you go it's in there it's nice and solid won't go anywhere if the wind is really really high you could just probably tie a little knot right here to keep that from coming loose and um, this cord works great because with the wind it won't you have to worry about it really damaging your tarp or pulling on the stakes too much and uh, the shot cord, that's what it is. It was the, the word was escaping me. It's a shot cord. I got it at REI. It's about the same diameter as the um, as the 550 paracord. So it's real strong. I just tied a good little knot right there and um, away I go with that. So when I do pack these up, all I do is just pull the stake out, unclip it from there, and I roll it up and put it back in my uh, snake skin. And I carry eight of those because I've got four, four on each side. And I just take those, those ones on each side there and um, put them in the, in the snake skin and roll it up and put it in the little sill nylon bag and I'm good to go. So I'm going to show you another cool angle of this from this side. And all this cord here, my, my little yellow cord and this green cord here, is reflective so at night it'll show up really good and so you put your your hammock under this and you're gonna stay totally dry the 550 paracord will stay strong although there is alternatives there is lighter alternatives but for right now this is the kind of this is the setup I've got going here and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pack it up and then I'll show you one time one more time again what it looks like after I've uh, packed it all back up right here you can see how the the green line is going through my snake skin through here it's kind of hard to see but you can see it going through there that uh, 
was what is the is the green line is what I use to keep the tarp tight on the ends closer to the tree so it you know doesn't like come in on itself and uh, I just use that carabiner right here to uh, to pull that tight so my tarp doesn't move you can see here where I've got that tight tensioned up to that carabiner where it's tied up right to here which is the end of my uh, superfly I just tied to that string right there that's going through the snake skin and it comes out and it's clipped right there and you can put the clip in different places but that's just where I have it at the moment and what I can do is with my tarp tensioned across here like this I can slide the snakeskin right over it just as easy as, as pie just slides right over and uh, then you can just cinch it up that way you can see how I've got it almost put away now and uh, there's the see what I can do after I'm done here is I'm gonna unconnect that and then I can start rolling that up and then come down to this side and unclip it right there on the S beaner and just roll it up and put it right inside my superfly bag I just want to take one more second and show you this you can see that line that's going to the green lines going to my tarp to hold it the ridge line is obviously going under my tarp going all the way across and this is what the um, snakeskin looks like when it's completely on here I think it works great it's uh, completely um, enclosed everything across it reached it reached across perfectly fine and uh, I got it it just cinches up with a little cinch um, little toggle switch on there and this just comes right down here and that's where it connects right there so uh, it's a pretty neat setup, and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and roll it up now and put it into the into the bag, and we'll see how compact it'll be. Hey, how you doing, Bailey? This is Bailey, everybody. He's very involved with everything. Say hi, Bailey. Yeah, that's Bailey. And then over here, we got Boris. What you doing, buddy? You doing okay? All right. All right, guys, here we are. Let's take a look at some weights here and see how much everything weighs. That right there is a Superfly. It's an 11 foot tarp, sill nylon, and um, it's, uh, it's got the figure nine in it, the ridge line in it, the snake skins, and all the other uh, ropes and stuff that I use to tie it out. The only thing it doesn't have is the stakes with the uh, shot cord in my clips. So I'm going to show you some weights here and let's take a look and see how much the Superfly weighs with all of the uh, ridge line and everything. Looks like... Let's see, let's switch the units here. 719 grams, 25.4 ounces, or 719 grams. So 25 ounces. That's not bad for, um, for a really nice tarp with, with the hardware and the ridge line all included so uh, and it packs up really small that's you know that is not much bigger than my hand right there it's maybe 10 inches long at the most and uh, definitely smaller than a football and so now <clears throat> I want to share with you the Easton tent stakes that I've got I found these at a local store where I live um, the winds blowing but these are uh, Easton aluminum stakes they're extremely light and they've got that hole right there 
where you can put your line through and tie it because as forgetful as I am I'll run off and leave my you know a stake or two in the ground and by the time I get to the end of my hike I'll be missing some stuff so having that tied on all the time is great to prevent uh, from forgetting it so just the stake by itself it's about six inches long I'm not sure where you can get these I did they have made a little store called bargain barn in Jasper Georgia where I live okay let's see how much this weighs point three ounces point three ounces for the stake itself and then when I add my little bit of shot cord that's on here which you can see the black shark uh, shot cord the uh, plastic carabiner that little carabiner I got at REI sometimes they're hard to find I think I found some at Sportsman's Warehouse and then I've got the uh, the Kelty um, a little the really light Kelty line that um, I think it's called light line or something like that it's not I have the information on my other Ridgeline video but uh, let's see how much this is every this is about six feet of, of line on here let's just take a look here and see what this weighs let's see take that off first let's uh, turn that off turn it on here we go let's see 0.7 ounces so I carry eight of those so it's, it's definitely probably about six ounces for uh, for eight of the stakes that I carry because I have to have two extra also for my um, uh, blackbird uh, hammock that I use to tie out the two ends so that's uh, a total of of ten of these but but two of them are just like this without the the hard other hardware on it but that gives you an idea about the weights um, it's really light and these these I just pack up all together I just put them in a little ziploc bag and just let it go with that and you know when you pull the stake out of the ground it'll have dirt all over I just grab find a leaf and wipe the dirt off and roll it up and away I go so I wanted to share my setup with you um, my tarp and the way that I stake out my tarp it's worked really good I've probably used this system like I don't know 20 or 30 times and it works great the snake skins I got are new uh, I just tried that out today setting that up and it seems like it's going to be really really convenient one of the great things about it is I it never um, I never had to put it on the on the ground the, the tarp never touched the ground so I hope this was a help to everybody and I thank you for watching.